can see, it's not quite the construction site that it was a couple of years ago, but we're still working. And one thing that I'm working on today is uh, stuff relating to venting in the, uh, uh, the hot room and the pantry. I've been able to uh, much improve the way the pantry's keeping cool in here. You can see we've got this cool bot up here and we're keeping it about 61 degrees right now. What we've added in here is an entire door, which uh, you can see it. It's just not going to work out. <laughs> There's a door down here. There we go. So we've got an entire door down there, uh, which I've added to the blankets. It really helps to isolate the uh, the temperature in here. Things are going pretty well in here. Uh, and there's some other ways that I've been trying to address that as well. The hot room is hot, and I need to vent that heat outside during the uh, during the summertime. I added an extra vent up here because there was so much suction in the uh, in the hot room. It was drawing a lot of air from the uh, pantry area and the pantry was getting hot humid air sucked into it to make up for that loss. So we added an extra vent up here to make it so there's less suction going into the pantry. You can draw more from here. We always keep this one window open for now and what we're going to be working on today is this. It's really dusty here. My god look how dusty those are. Uh, there's going to be a couple of vents under this bottom step. This step is like a, a straw that runs all the way up into that hot room over there. And I've never put a board on the front of it right there. And that's what we're going to be working on today. So let's hop outside and uh, we'll see what's going on for that. It's uh, just a board with a couple of holes in it. But what I really want to do while we're out here is talk a little bit about the, uh, the chicken run. Because it's been going pretty well. This is the fixed chicken run. That's where they go out to in the morning when uh, you know they wake up and they start crowing and everything. Uh, which, it's not terrible. I mean, yeah, they're crowing, but it, you know, it's, it's not awful. And here is our uh, moving chicken run. And we've been moving it every single day. Uh, the past couple days it was here and then here. Uh, it seems like if you leave it in, in one place for one day, I've got seven chickens in there and it's eight by six. Uh, it seems like, it, uh, you know, they're not able to do an enormous amount of damage to any one area. Although I can show you a bit of damage from, you know, a little while ago. This little dirt spot here. When they find dirt spots, they like to kind of dig them up and, um, you know, uh, do dirt baths for themselves. But as long as we kind of keep moving it around, it seems like it's not that big of a deal. I put a sheet on the top and, wow, look at all those bugs. <laughs> and uh, because the sheet doesn't really cut all the... Uh, all the, uh, the sunlight, I added some mugwort on top here too, which kind of makes a little bit more shade for them, but it's been really, really hot. I mean, we've been in the uh, uh, mid to upper 90s for a while, and uh, it's, hard, it's hard on the chickens. I'm actually going to be buying a mister for them. I've got it ordered. Uh, there's a little mister that will hook up to the garden hose, and it'll spray some mist out. I've been having like little fountains in there for them, uh, so they can kind of walk through trays of water, but they don't seem to really be all that interested in it. Um, so I'm thinking maybe the mister will be good. Downside of the mister is that their food might get misted, and it's not good for having their for their food to be getting wet. So, um, you know, it's an ongoing process, but uh, leaving that mobile run in one position, uh, position for one day and then moving it, seems like it's working pretty well and they are putting a lot of poop in and, fe and a lot of feathers uh, down into the, uh, uh, the lawn. And I'm sure that's not doing anything but helping. I certainly haven't seen any downsides of having them graze around here other than the fact that they occasionally will make kind of a dirt bath, but they don't tend to dig up areas that uh, don't, aren't already bare. Like you see this area here where there's a lot of bare ground. If I put them here, they'd be digging that up like crazy. But if there's already vegetation, they don't seem to really uh, go at it. It's just if they find an area that's already kind of open, they'll kind of open it up. Uh, another reason I don't put uh, them in this area is because this is where I've always done the table saw, including pressure-treated wood, and there's little pressure-treated wood bits down here. And, uh, you know, I don't want them eating that stuff. You know, just, well, I care about them, but even if I didn't care about them, the pressure-treated um, uh, metals go into their body, and then they come out in their eggs, and then they go into our bodies. Uh, so we're keeping them out of the area where I know we have pressure treated stuff. So this is the board. It's going to go under the stairs, three feet wide. Uh, and in, on one side, it's uh, six inches tall. And the other side, it's going to be five and three quarters inches tall. Uh, and that's just kind of a real world sort of uh, thing. You know, uh, carpentry often at times is imperfect. I think there's a little bit of uh, spacing around the nails where the, uh, the stringers for the stair went down. And one side gets got bumped up a little bit more. Uh, so it's fine. I'm going to measure up. 